Hello viewers, this is Paladin of Odin, and this is some more Magic the Gathering Online. And this is episode 10 of the Orox deck. I brought it back for today. I don't know if I will keep doing it on the regular, but I figured for my 300th video, I couldn't f think of a better way of celebrating 300 videos than with episode 10. So, he played a first turn Tundra Wolves. I had to mulligan once. I had plenty of land, but not what I needed to play. So he attacks for one. He also played Order of the White Shield. 2-1 pro black, it can get first strike or plus one plus zero. So I'll throw down the Bull Aurochs, since it's the only thing I've got right now. And just take whatever punishment he sends my way. Because at the moment, I can't really afford to block. He chooses not to attack. I find that odd, considering all it would take is one mana for him to be a first strike. They'd instantly kill my bull aurochs. So, new addition to the deck, Map the Wastes. I like it a little better than um, Cultivate. You know, I get one land out of it, but I also get a plus on plus on counter whenever one of my creatures is in play, so... I prefer that over getting the second land. Dauntless River Marshal. Plus on plus one as long as you control an island, and you can tap target creature for four mana. So he sends in the Order of the White Shield. I'm not going to block. And let me think. I could play Curse of Predation and attack, making him a 4-3. He'd have to group block to kill him. Or I could play Map the Wastes and get the same effect. Uh, well, I have four mana, so I think I'm going to go with the Curse of Predation. And this way, if he does block with both, I can kill them both. And he'll lose two creatures, I'll lose my one. He's on two cards already. He chooses not to block though, so he takes four. And he's attacking all in. That'll be six damage, I'll go down to eleven. And unfortunately that's not a tap to tap. So I've got to throw down the Aurochs here to have a blocker. And just try and build up my field to try and protect myself because uh, he's got a really good uh, ability off of this guy. One more land and he can do it twice in a round. And it doesn't matter how you know crappy his creatures are. him first strike and makes him a 3-1 and just attacks with the knight that's fine with me Crunch time. I think I'm going to have to go with another Aurochs. And attack in with both. They'll trigger each other's Auroch ability, and Curse of Predation will give them plus one, plus one counters. 
and I'll have, well, I might not have a blocker. Let's see if he pays, f oh, and there's eight mana, so three, six, seven, yeah, we're dead. Or not. And we don't have a choice here. I was actually really hoping I'd draw land by now. He will tap down probably the bull aurochs. Which he does. And, you know, I don't really have any other alternative except to attack in and hope that I get enough over the top. Two five fives, I think. Yeah, I, I've got him. But we should have been dead. He had the mana to tap my Aurochs and buff him twice with the power to deal four damage. Okay, he's got creatures. I'm trying to think. I could use Lignify in case he gets that tap ability again. Prey Upon wouldn't be a bad choice either. So I'm going to drop Hunt the Weak. I'm going to throw out one door. Add in Prey. Throw out Seton's Desire. And Mortal Resolve to grab the... Lignifies. That, you know, Lignify might not be a good choice because it turns them into a 0 4, which makes it harder for me to kill. But at the same time, they lose all their abilities. And I've got a mulligan here. Alright, keeping this one. Oh, and he's mulliganing down to five cards. That really sucks for him. Okay, first turn Tundra Wolves. Oh, thank you. First turn Lanoir. And I'm thinking I might hold off and play Door of Destinies first before I play Aurochs. Another Tundra Wolves. Not blocking. Yeah, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna wait. It gives him an extra turn, but he's so low on cards already that I think the risk is worth it. And there's his friend, the tap guy. He doesn't have an island yet. Not gonna block again. I'll go down to 17. Throw down Door of Destinies. Choosing Aurochs, and end the turn. Don't let him have an island. It might not be... Oh, and he disenchants the Door of Destinies. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Right, map the wastes. That is actually quite helpful. And then I will... Target creature you control, target creature he controls. They fight, they will both die. Now a 
I just need one more land. Place ponder. And he chose to shuffle his library. And there's Paladin and Vec. The protections don't help him against me, but it still is a 2 2 first strike. Two more damage from the Tundra Wolves, and I'm down to 10. Oh, thank you for the sixth mana. Time to go on an Auroch Herd train. And depending on what I draw... Ooh. Well, I haven't seen that in a very long time. Divine Transformation, plus three, plus three. Um, I think I'm going to have to risk taking the five. Lanawar Elves. Well, I can throw him out there to chump block the 5-5. Five five. Throw down Bull Orox. And pass the turn. And there's his River Marshal again. Trying to think what I need in this situation. Uh, an acidic slime would be really, really good. He's attacking all out. So, block him with that, block him with that. And yeah. Take one damage, go down to four. Damn, gotta land. There's really nothing else I can do at this point. You know, that one enchantment is going to be the death of me. And if he's smart here, depending on what's in his hand, he should tap down the bull aurochs and make me block with the auroch herd. Oh, another divine transformation. Never mind. I have to chump block both of those guys. And that's the game. Eh, might as well. Taps down the 4-4. Four four. And I'm just not gonna block here. What's my next card? Garuk? Mm, don't know that that would have helped. Well, let's see about death touching. Let's get rid of... N well, Lignify is actually quite helpful. So, let's drop one Orox herd, one Bull Orox. One map the wastes. 
and grab Deadly Recluse, Ambush Viper, and hmm. And I'll go with a juvenile gloom widow. Two death touch and a wither. Ooh, and a very good start. He has to mold a six. And keeps his hand. Lotus Petal, wow. I have to say, compared to the rest of the cards in this deck, I wasn't expecting to see something like that. Throw out the curse. And depending on what I draw, oh, he gets rid of the curse. I might have to Blanchwood Armor the Elf and just start beating him down. Okay, let's try it. Buffs up the knight, attacks in. I'll go down to 15. I really, really shouldn't do this. I'm putting all of this on one creature. All it's going to take is for him to play swords to plowshares or Path of Exile, or Condemn, or... There are so many things in white. But now he has a chump blocker. He attacks in for three. I'll go down to twelve. Oh, Prey Upon, thank you! Let's kill off the knight with the prey upon. And then go in for the attack. Make him block. Nine power versus eight life. He has to block. And he concedes. Oh, I don't like winning Orok deck matches with elf beating, but you got to take the win where you get them. So there you go, guys. That was episode 10 of the Orok's deck. I had a much more fun game in the Orok's deck before this, but it didn't record, and that really pissed me off. But this was the best that I could find. Legacy is a little scarce nowadays so if you liked what you saw hit that like and subscribe button for me and i'll see you in the next video